All right, on this video, we have our quick connect ball valve we worked on in another video. Just got in a Mosmatic swivel from Clean Right Corp. I got one in half inch for the soft wash system. I got one in a quarter for the pressure washer gun. So we'll put them all, all to use. So this one just came in plastic bags. One of those packing slip enclosure little pockets. The quarter and half inch came in a plastic protective box. August 2022, so made last month. Mosmatic logo. Rated for 120 degrees Celsius, 250 Fahrenheit, 275 bar, 4000 PSI, made in the USA. <coughs> From the videos I was seeing about these, I thought they'd be uh, more swivelly. There is resistance to it. But, uh, yeah, it should do the job. It's like, uh, I don't know what to say. It's pretty much like if you had a ball valve with a lot of grease in it. It's the feeling. You can feel that resistance, but it should do what it's supposed to do. So we're going to end it in between the quick connect here and our BSP to MPT adapter. So just like in our other video with quarter inch filter, I'm going to take off the fitting, the coupler fitting, which came off surprisingly easy. Oh, you know what? That's right. I think I had made a decision in that video that I was going to do this, so I didn't loxy untighten this one about that so that's a good future thinking of me so our thread locker for position knock them down so they go into the threads make sure there's none here on the front face Throw a dab in there. And go ahead and hand tighten this to start off with. There we go. And then we're going to be putting the. Oh. Should I do this rear one too? <coughs> this one moved with it. Oh, I guess I didn't do that one either. Did I? Nope. Did I do this one at all? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it on this side. I guess I didn't do the back side. How forgetful of me. Well, we'll go ahead and tighten up the Mosmatic Swivel and then we'll go ahead and work the whole back half of this ball valve. So this in a good ergonomic position for me. Do it from here. Just needs a little more. That's going to be good for me. We're going to come and, as always, clean up the excess. And our paper towel, soak it up and also push it on the outer edges of the threads. <coughs> so let's just do the back end 
first. Knock them down. Little in here. Thread it on. And it's about a three quarter to full turn, maybe that it gave me. All right, I'm glad I thought about <clears throat> all this in the last video and I forgot about it, but I'm also glad I discovered they were loose. Instead of forgetting, leaving them loose, and then trying it on a pressure washer, and then it blowing out or leaking pretty bad. All right, so we got our swivel action there. Hopefully, this swivel lasts a long time. Like I said, I got it from Clean Right Corp. They are the DGV swivel. Now, I don't know how you go about ordering it, <coughs> but the swivel has a Buna, B-U-N-A, um, O-ring in it. It shows that FMK is optional, which is your Vidon seal. Shows it as it being optional in the description which gets copied from the manufacturer but it doesn't say um, how you go about taking advantage of that option so it's there it's just no one really gives you that option it's optional without the option Got plenty on the bottom of the seal gasket. Saturday, I should be getting more of these as extras. The 3 8 little gasket seal there. I'm also getting the one for the 3 quarter because I didn't think to look and order the, the adapter for the pressure washer on the 3 quarter side. Yeah, it does pretty well. Let's see. Tilt it, tilt it a little bit, yeah, Let's see, doesn't do too bad with just the weight of the, the upper portion of the ball valve, nice swivel, quick connect, <coughs> so yeah, I um, ordered more of these gaskets, ordered one for the three quarter for the water inlet of the pressure washer because I didn't order the adapter with it and then one extra and then like I said in the last video from MTM Hydro I bought a turbo nozzle close this real quick got a turbo nozzle it's a 9 orifice 5800 psi it's got nice packaging to protect it during transit. This one's the one that doesn't come with it. I think right now they're out of stock of the one that comes with it. Or that's the 10 orifice, I might be mistaken. But these threads are BSP. And what I've noticed <coughs> with the BSP th uh, thread adapters, those will seat all the way down, just like this one did on both sides. <coughs> on both sides here it does the same thing with the 
with the pressure washer because the GP2021 are BSP threaded. So it does the same for the 3 8 output and the 3 quarter input. So it's good to have that. And then because it's the adapter to MPT, you actually get a few more threads in it. Now, like I said, you can put NTP threads into it. Like I said, the difference is per inch, it's 19 threads BSP. It's 18 threads per inch NPT. So, I mean, it'll thread to a certain point. But with the adapter, on the adapter side of the MPT, I should be able to get another one or two threads to seat further in. And that way it's got a better seal, it's got a better hold on it. Uh, if you just happen to drop it, you're less likely to break it because you have more grabbing onto it. So as soon as I get that adapter Saturday, this will be one of those videos. It's the nine orifice. So yeah, it's pretty cool. They sell uh, rebuild kits. I may get one in the future after I start using this. I wasn't too sure about ordering one, but I said, you know, just have one just in case. Because <coughs> uh, a turbo nozzle is essentially a zero degree tip that rotates so it's a wider angle so supposedly it's kind of equivalent to a 25 degree but it's it's cleaning almost like a, a surface cleaner it's got weight to it i'd say it's probably like maybe around three pounds but i definitely like this this case it came in the same thing with those other mosmatics the the half inch and the the, the quarter inch it's a similar type of case except it doesn't rotate it just pulls in and out but yeah this is going to be our, our ball valve this should help us not have to fight the hose and rotating should help help with uh, preventing the hose from kinking unless that's what it's into and like I said um it's better to have it like this, short end, for your thumb. That way most of the work is coming from your fingers. Because having it the other way, your thumb's doing the pushing. And I know you're not going to be doing it much, but maybe after a full day, your thumb's going to be strained. So on the output end, have the shorter end. I question it in other videos, but now having it, I can mess with it some and I can see, okay, you know what, that's why more of the fingers are pushing, more of your wrist is into it, whereas the other way it's primarily your thumb pushing into it. So yeah, that's going to be it. See you on the next one.